Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of the shaded region. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. In the first example, we have a circle embedded in a semicircle. To find the area of the shaded region, the formula we're going to use is the area of the big shape minus the area of the small shape. The big shape in this case is the semicircle as shown and the small shape would be the circle embedded in the semicircle. So we have to find the area of the shaded region. The formula for finding the area of a semicircle that's half of a circle will be pi r squared, that's the area of a circle, divided by 2, minus the area of a circle, pi radius squared. If you look at the diagram given, we've been given the diameter, that's the distance from one end of the circle to the other, passing through the middle, and to find the radius r for the big shape, that will be half of the diameter that's equal to half of 9.6 centimeters. Therefore, the radius is equal to 4.8 centimeters. So for the second circle, we have the circle touching the semicircle in such a way that We've been given the radius of the big circle or the semicircle will be the diameter of the smaller circle inside. That means the diameter, which we were able to calculate as 4.8, this is 4.8 centimeters, so this is also 4.8 centimeters. Therefore, to find the radius, we need to half the diameter. So for the second shape, a radius, I'm going to write it here, the R will be 1 over 2 of the diameter, like we did in the first shape, that's half times 4.8 centimeters, and that will give us 2.4 centimeters. So we have the big radius and the small radius. So slotting all that back into our formula, we have that as pi for this example i'm going to use pi equals 3.14 so i have 3.14 times the radius of the big shape 4.8 because it's squared i'm going to multiply that twice divided by 2 whatever i have here i'm going to subtract pi r squared i'm going to use the same 3.14 times a new radius, that's 2.4 squared, so I'm going to multiply that twice. If I punch that in, I'm going to have 36.1728 minus 18.0864. We're finding area, so that's centimeters squared, it's two-dimensional. Therefore, our final answer will be 18.0864 to two decimal places. That's 18.09 centimeters squared. Let's look at the second example. In my second example, I have a circle and embedded in the circle is a square. To find the area of the shaded region, it's the area of the big shape. The big shape in this case is the circle minus the area of the small shape, and that's the square inside. So if I write that down, I have the big shape, which is the area of the circle, minus the area of the square. The formula for finding the area of a circle is pi radius squared, 
minus the formula for finding the square is side times side, so that's side squared. If I go back to the diagram, to find my radius, we've been given the distance from one end of the circle to the other, as shown, which is 5.6 centimeters. To find the radius, radius is half of a diameter, so I have that as my r equals half of the diameter. Remember, the diameter is the distance from one end of the circle to the other, passing through the middle, while the radius is the distance from the middle to any part of the circle. So I have that as half of 5.6 centimeters, which is equal to 2.8 centimeters. Likewise, we've been given the side or the distance or the length of the square, which is 3.1 centimeters. So putting that back in, I have the area of the shaded region. For this example also, I'm going to use pi equals 3.14. So I have 3.14 times my radius squared. Radius is 2.8. So I have that as 2.8 times 2.8. My answer here, minus area of the square, length times breadth or side times side, 3.1 squared, that's 3.1 times 3.1. I have 24.6176 minus 3.1 times 3.1, 9.61. All my units, always remember to write your unit, the centimeter squared. That will give me 15.00. 7, 6. If I round up to two decimal places, that will be 15.01 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. Bye.